No, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate every one of you guys. They did not have to do what they did. They could have stayed in their hotel rooms and told us to go fuck ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and he knows me. This is Scorpio coming out of me. I'm not fucking around when I say this. He's making jokes, making everybody funny, but he knows I'm very serious. Yeah, he is very serious. <laughs> he did not have to, they did not have to find our hotel room, they could have said, fuck all you people. <laughs> and they literally said, you know what? He studied our panels. He was on our website more than you could possibly imagine. Looking at everything we did, he critiqued us. Oh, well, I was trying to be nice. It's a good, a good, good setup. But he was there, go, and he was sitting there going, hey, what's this panel? I'm coming to this panel and crashing it. <laughs> He got information from Lisa when me and Lisa talked. And it was very funny when Sean called me up at 10.29 on a Sunday. <laughs> at night in the morning. At night. Oh, okay. <laughs> you all know you're a night owl. Yeah, I, I know you're a night owl. I know you're a night owl. Now they all know. <laughs> you gotta pick up this book and read it. I have a book. Uh, <laughs> mental health, uh, star, what was it, star? Wars? Oh, the book I'm reading, the book I'm reading. Yeah, I didn't write it. No, it's a book called Spark by John Spark. Ray. Yeah, I've been reading it. Oh, I've read it, but it's a good book, yeah. 10.30 night on a Sunday, he calls me up saying I have to get this book. <laughs> <laughs> That's the friends we made. I wish my wife was here to celebrate all of this. Aww. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Unfortunately, we had to rebuild the corporation. The people that are here know me, can physically contact me, but we got so big, we had to bring in other people. <coughs> but for you people here, you physically know how to contact me. Every one of you has my phone number. I did not give you only an email, I gave you my phone number, and I physically contacted every artist and dealer in here. And some of the people who bought badges, I physically talked to on the phone. You guys all know how to contact me. Mm -hmm. Frank, in the back. <laughs> Hello, Frank. <laughs>
an impression in everybody's mind here where you're going to go home and you're going to get on that Facebook, you're going to get on that Twitter, fat, you're going to get on Kinetic.com, AnimeGarage.com, <laughs> 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 don't yell at me, that's what i And all your guys are going to go, you missed the best fucking time of your life. And Fred goes, first thing is cut, I don't want to go. <laughs> and you're going to go home and go, they fucking blew the roof off of this thing. Hell yeah. <laughs> This poor guy came out of nowhere, and he's actually the guy who does the AV for Kineticon. Yep. You wonder where this convention name come from? This convention does not happen. We popped up in six months. It was many, many years in the work, and I pitched him the name. And this is Rob. <laughs> and I was like, I was like. Dude, I want to do a convention, I want to do a convention. And I actually dragged him to, with me to like three conventions this year. <laughs> He's only been to Kinetic Comic once. I dragged him to Anime Boston, Anime X, and Kinetic Comic. No way. And he goes, dude, let's call the convention Gobblecon. <laughs> <laughs> and there's an awkward silence. <laughs> and then childlike laughter from this kid. <laughs> it's like Christmas border. He just don't want to test fire trucks. No, actually, what I said to him, actually, honestly, what I said to him, I said, yes. no legal matters, I'm stealing that name. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, our guy behind Con Ops. My Con Ops. <laughs> Registration. Registration. There you go. He's a huge supporter in this. I'm not going to tell you in many ways. He's never done any convention work. Wow. He just said, where do you need me? I'll handle it. And he stood up. I have a convention over here. Never been to a convention. Contact me. I said, come over tomorrow. <laughs> Here's convention badges. Start packing them. <laughs> He's the only guy I don't think Rhonda even knows his Rhonda, you know his name? I don't know a lot of people's names, but no, I'm talking about him. Just right there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that means he did not get yelled at. That is the rule. If I did not know your name, I did not yell at you. Where's Pedro? Right her. Right her. I didn't do it. Damn you, Pedro Bear. Wait, what? I said, there's your partner in crime. Oh. Big. Yeah. I know you guys wanted a bigger rave. <laughs> we should have been here last night when Eric said, Dude, I'm going to grab my laptop, my turntable, I'm going to start spinning some shit. <laughs> the Nerd Fit guys have supported us very, very, very well. You've seen them at many conventions, and you'll probably see them, hopefully, when I get home and figure out everything is scratch bad and go warm, I can come up with more money. <laughs> you will see them at the next GobbleCon. Yeah. Yay! And then, because it's getting ridiculous hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> I will finish with this. I left an open invitation because everybody knows it's Sean's birthday today. In case you yeah. Yeah. Where's your birthday suit? <laughs>
Lord. My, my little my little girl over here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do it. Uh, oh, uh, a big support. That's a trap. This little little eighteen year old arm breaking misfit <laughs> in panic mode because she missed a convention and all eighteen years old was more worried about the convention happening Aww. than her arm. <laughs> and this is Karen. The show is gone. <laughs> Gobblecon. Uh, time to go home. Go through all these footages. Uh, um, follow up to come in a moment.